Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drum Body Modular Groove Box. Beep Street has recently uh, released an update for Drumbo, very exciting, fixed a number of bugs uh, as you would expect, but also introduced a number of new racks um, or modules. So in this video we are going to have a look at the ARP rack. So let's click on the uh, plus sign, let's go under MIDI and select ARP on the processor. So this is an ARP rack, as you would expect, it's an arpeggiator and it has controls which you should be familiar if you used an arpeggiator before, but let's go through them quickly. We have a rate dial to, so that you can change in terms of how quickly you want the arpeggiator to um, play different notes, to generate different notes. Um, that is influenced or in by the uh, sync function here at the moment it's set to play within a quarter of a beat um, you can change that to be for the whole bit or you can change that to frequency if you change the frequency you can see the rate under the rate word you have the frequency expressed in hertz which of course is um, uh, is a different way to actually uh, to set the to set the speed of your arpeggiator in uh, sim uh, simple terms uh, I prefer actually to stick to um, to bits because then I can use that to better synchronize against the steps in my pattern. You have a gate dial which you can use in terms of um, uh, changing the uh, duration from a note perspective as the arpeggiator is moving through the, diff the, the pattern of notes which are generated. You have a host sync which will allow you to um, change the uh, the synchronization with the host if you're using these for example in a UV refreshing uh, inside the dough and you also have a dial for uh, um, uh, the octave range so at the moment it's playing within one octave but you can change to spread the arpeggiator against two octaves, three octaves etc and as you would expect as a, for an arpeggiator you have a mode you can play notes in the upper direction up and down down as played in terms of how you play them in the keyboard, for example, if you're playing a chord or randomly. So let's start using it. Let's click on the plus sign. Let's click on the generator. Let's go on the instrument and let's select an instrument. And um, for example, let's choose the SO block. Let's bring up the keyboard. If you press on the keys on the key, nothing is uh, generated because this is a MIDI module and you need to convert the MIDI signal into CV to go to the um, instrument. So let's expand that to the right to add another rack. Let's go under MIDI, let's select MIDI to CV and let's now again uh, press some keys on the keyboard. Or let me try without the mouse, for example, chord. here is the classical uh, arpeggiator eff um, uh, effect so you can change the mode for example up and down so it's going up like so in uh, this direction and then it's also coming down and ends up and down you can also set it to down so it's going down in this direction like so or you can set it also to as played so for example if I play C G and E flat it will play in the direction I play the keyboard and also you can set it to play as random of course and will generate a random function um, now let's hold the, the key uh, the chord in on the keyboard and like so and let's create uh, a step uh, so I will click on the step like so I have generated now a step which contains a C minor chord of three notes so let's click on it hold and extend that duration the duration for the entire bit and now we have a chord which can be played um, uh, through that pattern At the moment it's played within a quarter of a bit, so divided the bit in a quarter. If I change that, for example, for the old bit, it will go much slower because it will fit uh, that uh, um, uh, the arpeggiator for that chord within the bit. 
so it's practically played C, E flat, G, and then C again. Um, so very exciting to see an arpeggiato now inside uh, a drumbo. Of course, uh, in, it opens up a lot of possibility. For example, if you don't want to play an internal instrument like um, this one, you can click on the plus sign, you can in insert a MIDI output, and you can drive, for example, another instrument via MIDI, or for example, another EUV3 instance if you are inside a DO or an EUV3 host like uh, AUM. So lots and lots of possibility. Um, I hope you enjoyed and you find this useful. And as always, see you next time. Bye.